You're listening to the Visibly Fit Podcast. Hey, I'm your host, Wendy Pett, and every week I'll give you holistic, practical solutions for everyday issues related to nutrition, healing, functional fitness, and behavior modifications. As a natural path fitness expert and wellness coach for over 20 years, my goal is to empower you to reach for greater health and to rise up to your next level of living in mind, body, and spirit. You were created with greatness in mind. It's time to own it. Are you with me? Then let's dive in. Well, cue the confetti and sound the horns. This is episode 100. I am so excited. Yes, this is Wendy Pett, and you are listening to the Visibly Fit Podcast. I am so excited to celebrate this milestone with you. And I got to thinking that maybe some of you haven't even um, listened to the full 100 yet. Well, you've got time. <laughs> um, you can go and listen at any time. Just in fact, if you have not even um, listened to the first five or six episodes, make sure you do that because I really break down um, the REACH acronym, which is a big part of Visibly Fit. And it's about um, uh, REACH, which stands for Release, uh, exercise, affirm, choose, and heart. And each one of those episode, episodes are, are very detailed on that particular letter of the acronym REACH. And then I have some um, takeaways, some, some downloads that you can partake in that I think will help you maybe along your journey, mind, body, spirit, and emotional. So um, yeah, so make sure you go listen to that. But I am so excited about this episode. I'm actually uh, I thought I would do this a little different today. If you are watching, you'll check this out uh, and you'll see that it's a different scene. But I am actually at a health immersion right now teaching and training and I'm just taking a break. I'm in Florida and uh, I'm sweating it out with you because I thought I would look professional and put on something other than my raggedy t-shirt here. And uh, so I'm outside. I'm outside on the on the patio here and it's beautiful out. And I thought I would just... Yeah, do the episode out here. So we may hear, who knows, birds, lawnmowers, cars, uh, people talking. It's all good. I wanted you to have the full experience with me here in Florida. So welcome again to the Visibly Fit Podcast. And thank you so much for being uh, just an intricate part of a visibly fit. I mean, without you, I wouldn't be doing this. Like, let me tell you, let me kind of, let me break down like um, my excitement in the beginning of doing a podcast. Uh, it was about, it was like null and void. Like there was no excitement in the beginning of doing this podcast. And I had, you know, patients that would say, oh my gosh, Wendy, I wish you had a podcast. And they, they told me this for years. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, that's a lot of work. I don't know how to do it. And um, and so I just started noodling more and more about it. And the more kind of, you know, excitement that others felt whenever I told them, yeah, I'm thinking about it, then I'm like, okay, maybe there really is a need in this space, even though there's a bajillion podcast. I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I know I'm not your only podcast source that you listen to, but thank you for uh, allowing me to be in that cluster of podcasts that you do listen to. But um, yeah, I, I think what I heard mainly is I just want to have you in my ear while I'm walking or while I'm cooking or, you know, just cleaning the house or whatever. I want to be able to listen to you and and get some good, you know, tips and and really learn how to be visibly fit mind, body, spirit and emotions. And so I touch on so many of of different aspects of what it means to be visibly fit, but I also bring in guests. And I have had some incredible conversations with amazing guests on the show. I just feel so blessed. But um, the the podcast didn't actually start with my podcast. I have to like give credit where credit is due. So my husband and I have a podcast called Your Biggest Breakthrough. It's completely different than Visibly Fit. If you've never heard it, go take a listen. We share breakthrough stories of different people and they have amazing stories. And so... Um, I think you will be blessed big time if you go check that out. So there's a little plug for for that uh, podcast. But that was kind of getting my my feet wet in this podcast space. And so, um, luckily, you know, my husband he's been in, in 
radio and and that kind of thing for for over 40 years so he he knows the sound quality and anyway so he helped build my confidence really in how to do a podcast and so then it it just um eased on over to visibly fit so i'm just super excited to um to celebrate 100 episodes i really had no idea i would um continue down this path but again i'm just so excited to have different guests on and then also the solo shows where i'm able to share my heart and also uh you know just words of wisdom and some knowledge that can help you along your own wellness journey but here's the fun thing about today is that i have a few people i put it out there on social media and a few other places like, hey, I'm looking for five people that want to come and celebrate um, Visibly Fit with me with this 100th episode. And I had people that were interested and I had to turn people down. And so um, those of you that I couldn't bring on, I'm so sorry. You are valuable to me. I just couldn't um, have everyone on because we have limited time. But I have a few with me here today that really want to share their heart and talk a little bit about Visibly Fit and where they listen and what their favorite episodes are. So I'm going to bring in um, Anne right now to the party, to the 100th episode party. I'm going to bring her in and uh, we'll see what she has to say. But I'm so excited because Anne Blessing has has been a blessing to me. Uh, her last name is is amazing, uh, but she is a blessing to everyone she encounters. And um, Anne, welcome to the Visibly Fit Podcast. Hi, hi. How fun is this? Yes. <laughs> well, we are. I'm I'm actually in Florida, and I thought let's just do the celebration out here on on the on the uh, the patio porch thing. And uh, I, I just shared that I'd be bringing some people in that, that wanted to be a part of this celebration of 100 episodes. And um, you are the you were the first one to respond, I might add. So so thank you for that. Um, actually, I think second. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You're in the top two, girl. You were ready. You were gung ho. And it was like within the five minutes of, of me sharing, saying, hey, who wants to be a part of this? So um, what does Visibly Fit mean to you? And how have you enjoyed the Visibly Fit podcast? Well, um, now, did you want me to talk about the podcast or the program? Um, you can talk about whatever you'd like. Yeah, okay. the podcast mainly. But yeah, you can talk about the program too. Sure. Well, every time I hear a podcast, I, I want to read that person's book and I want to g- dive into their um, background and their information, hear their story more because you have the most incredible guests on. Mm. I can't tell you how many things I've, you know, I've got the the breathing apparatus and I oh, got good. all kinds of um, things that have helped in my journey, my health mm. journey. Mm. So yeah, I, I kind of wanted to share a little bit about my health journey. Would love that. How you have helped with that. And sure. so I was approaching 60 and I was not happy with the fitness, the, the health situation I was in. And I just felt like I was aging so fast. And I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I had been diagnosed with polycystic kidneys years before. I had low energy. Um, I had a hurting hip because of a sedentary lifestyle sitting in front of a computer all day. And I decided I had to do something about it. And I uh, joined the Visibly Fit program and the seven-week program. And I had blood work done at the beginning of the program and the end of the program. But actually, at day 19, I had blood work again for my PCP. My total cholesterol dropped 46 points in those 19 days, and my bad cholesterol dropped 40 points. So incredible. Yeah. So incredible, Anne. So it just started me on a journey. And I, you know, I thought I knew about uh, the how to eat right, how to eat healthy. And I found out there was so much more I needed to learn and about uh, the whole food plant-based eating that you have been so educational with teaching me about. Started walking and I started at the end of June, I started jogging. And by October, I ran my first 5K. So proud. Yes. And so I found out you can set a goal and Mm. you can... Um, make a plan and you can start to uh, have your daily, your, your weekly schedule and it works. 
Yes. And that was a mind shift for me. That was mm. a turning point that I could, it really worked, that I could set that up and it was a jumping off point for me that I can do things that I didn't possibly think were um, achievable. Well, I'm just so proud of you. I mean, just knowing you from the beginning of, of your journey of when I met you and then where you are t- uh, today, it's like night and day difference. And so um, you've been disciplined and diligent. You've taken action. So that's a big piece of the puzzle. Like you can't just do it for someone else. You have to do the work and you've done the work and it, it's you see the fruit of your labor, right? Uh, in your blood work and and how you are going about life and taking on different challenges and, and doing races. And I mean, your countenance is different. Like it's just so much and and it's exciting to see. But, um, you know, I I think about um, just people that um, think that they are eating well, like just like you thought. Um, I think I eat healthy. I think, you know, I see that that's a pretty common thread of people just thinking they're healthy or eating healthy when really there's so many ways that they can tighten it up to get the inflammation, the chronic inflammation out of their life. So, um, yeah. So, what would you say um, what do you think about the exercises? I know you're dedicated with the visibly fit exercises. I think, you know, it took me a, quite a while to get the seven by 11s as a, um, routine, a comfortable routine twice a day. I, I do them yeah. in the mornings, but not the evenings. I'm a morning person, but now it's become habit. You keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, it becomes habit. And I just feel like I'm getting stronger and stronger yeah. and I'm I want to tell you, yes, I have entered the best decade ever of my life. Yes. And I feel like I am aging backwards. Well, you you are. You're like, uh, it's like Benjamin Buttons, right? <laughs> when we take care of ourselves, we really do start to, uh, it's anti-aging, right? And we start to reverse any kind of, of illness or disease or just it slows the aging process down, right? And you have energy and you start to feel alive again. And that's what I have really seen with you too, is like, you are living it, girl. And um, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I mean, I'm here at this health immersion. I've been teaching and training at health immersions for 10 years. And I just showed some people the visibly fit exercises for the first time today uh, as I'm recording this. And they are just like blown away. Like some of them, they've lifted weights all their life and they're like, oh my gosh, I can really feel this. And others that have never worked out are like, like, wow, I didn't know that I could feel that muscle or whatever, you know? And so um, you can start wherever you are and and build upon that. And that's the strength that you have 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 um, accomplished, like you are accomplishing, because you're still not in your fullest strength yet. But the stronger you get, the more tension and pressure you can apply, and then the stronger you become. And so have you noticed that, that you're starting to put more tension and, and, and pressure uh, inflection within those movements? Yes, most definitely. Yeah. You know, you can be listening to a podcast at the same time and realize, oh, I'm not really getting into that. I'm not doing my the hardest work. And so it really takes right. focus yeah. to really get the most benefit out of it. But yeah, speaking really- of focus, and um, how has your focus been since you have been on a the visibly fit lifestyle? How has your focus been as far as, as brain fog gone or just being able to get a task accomplished without, you know, feeling chaotic or disjum, you know, disjointed in your mind? Definitely improved. Yeah. Improved brain fog and uh, able to multitask better. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. All right. Well, before um, I let you go here, first of all, thanks for coming on. That's so awesome. I love this. This is fun to celebrate with me. 100 episodes. <laughs> yeah. And I want to tell you, you knew me at the beginning a year ago, and I never would have done this a year ago. I oh, never that's true. <laughs> what a breakthrough right there, right? Oh. Yes. The confidence, the God confidence, the confidence that you've, you're absolutely right. Cause you were, you were more reserved and shy and, and you've just really come out of your shell as well. And um, that's, that's pretty cool. I forgot about that. And I really did. <laughs> it's amazing. And I just, I just want to encourage you to continue with your podcast. You are affecting so many people's lives and you just are sharing so much important information and mm. 
want to encourage you to keep keep at it. Keep after keep on it. going to two hundred and then three hundred. All right, you're giving me a goal. This is good. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you so much. And um, I wanted to um, end this with. Do you recall, I don't, you wouldn't probably know the number of the, the episode, but your favorite, one of your favorite episodes, what was it about? Do you remember? Um, my favorite episode. Well, recently I liked the tapping, which oh, right. I was familiar with, and I did it years ago, but the guest you had on, um, was uh, kind of a different approach than I was familiar with. And so, of course, I got on her website and, and sure about that. And yeah, that was very helpful. Good. Yeah. All these tools we can apply to better our lives. And so it's not the one and done approach. It's, it's, having a bunch of things in your toolbox when you need them and being able to use them uh, effectively. So, and it's so much more than just physical health. Yes. You, you know, you are just helping people the whole, the whole person. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. I so love you. And thank you for being on this episode. God bless you. And uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Thank you. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Oh, isn't that fun? I love having a guest on. I've never really had uh, this kind of interaction before. And so we've got several coming in right now. And I'm going to bring in uh, Beth to the party. Uh, 100 episode party. Um, yeah, so Beth is joining us right now. She's working on her audio. And there she is. Beth, where are you joining us from today? Uh, from Oak Grove, Minnesota. Oak Grove, Minnesota. Yeah. And Anne just called in and she lives in Texas. And so it's so fun to have people um, all over. But thank you for being on this episode with me and celebrating 100 episodes. Like I feel honored um, that you would jump right in. Actually, I was I, I told Anne, I said, you were the first one that responded. I'm like, no, wait, it was Beth. You were the second one that responded. Ready, gung ho, uh, wanted to be on and celebrate with me. So thank you. That's so sweet to, to come on. You're welcome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about when you listen to the Visibly Fit podcast, um, uh, what are you doing? What do you like about it? And maybe one of your favorite episodes. Well, what I started to do is I just put my AirPods in and I'm like when I'm cleaning the house or doing my stuff and I'm like listening to it and I just love it. And, you know, one of my most favorite episodes uh, was um, when episode 80 um, in January was make a decision and make the decision work. And that mm. was kind of like, oh, so I'm, I'm good at making decisions, but then like making a way, always making a way um, and not worrying about perfection, but progress. And so that yes. was really impactful. And that really, really helped me on my journey. Mm. And then recently, just episode 98, the health and wealth with uh, Christina Wise. I really um, enjoyed that because it kind of pointed out like, it's not just about you getting healthy, how it, how it affects everything in your life. And so, you know, that was that was a really good takeaway. I really like that one. That's so good. Um, I love that you listen while you're cleaning or when you're, you know, you, when you're out for a walk or whatever. But um, also the fact that you're getting different nuggets uh, from different episodes that you can apply to your life. So, Christina, that was more uh, about, you know, health and wealth uh, wisdom. Right. And then the other make a decision, make that decision work. Um, I know that you have been very disciplined and and you are like on a mission to to get in your best healthiest self and you have made that decision and you're making it work you you're you're like solution minded and um and I love that about you because you will 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 you will keep knocking until the answer has been there uh and and so not everyone will do that but you are that type of personality which i love about you and i think we should all be that way especially as it pertains to our health right we got to keep knocking till we find the right solution so um so you have been with visibly fit for a while and um what do you like most about the program well what i love about the program i actually gave this a lot of thought the other day um and I wanted to just put it into a nice little package for you. But what I really love about it is that three-prong approach of mind, body, spirit, mm. and how it builds, it gives us these tools and, it, and these things to build on. And as we go through the journey of visibly fit from the very beginning 
to where we are now to even later on in our lives, I feel like those tools that you gave us kind of adapt and grow with us. Mm. And it's not just this one time, one shot, you know, and it's just, yes. yeah. And that's, and that's what I really, really love about it because I feel like it's my health journey and it's my lifestyle and that I now have the tools to have that lifestyle. Mm. So that is so I, good. I, uh, thank you. Yeah, yes, cool. you're right. It, it will, it, it grows with you as you get um, mm-hmm. healthier and you, you are mastering certain areas that need to be mastered. Then you, you grow and, and get, gain new knowledge and new understanding and, and you grow even deeper. Uh, it's kind of like our walk with the Lord, right? <laughs> the more we, we are diving into his word, the more we can grow with him, but, but visibly fit. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. So I'm so glad you packaged it that way. What a, what a beautiful way to, to, to share that and honor, um, visibly fit in this 100th episode. So thank you, girl. You are amazing. I love having you as part of the tribe too. Um, you have uh, really overcome so much. And so thank you for being a great inspiration in the group. Yeah, you're awesome. Thank you for being a fabulous, fabulous leader and partner. It's just been a really wonderful experience. I love the tribe too. Ah, I love you, girl. Thank you for hopping on with me and celebrating. Take care. You're welcome. Uh, All right. God bless. Again. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, fun. Gosh, you know, honestly, like, it, you, I, I have no idea what they're going to say when they hop on, but uh, they're like, yeah, we want to hop in and let's talk about it. So um, Tara is joining us now and um, we'll see what she has to say about the Visibly Fit podcast. So welcome, Tara. Thanks for celebrating 100 episodes with me. You're so sweet. Well, thanks for having me, Wendy. I'm so excited for you. I've learned so much over these 99 episodes so far. Can you believe? Yeah, it's amazing. Well, you've been um, instrumental in a couple of those episodes because I've shared your story numerous times. You have an incredible story, and we'll get to that in here in just a second just to remind people. But um, how do you typically listen to the Visibly Fit podcast, and do you have one or two favorite episodes? Yeah, I listen on my walks a lot of the time. Sometimes I listen when I'm cooking, and I love uh, – I have a – few episodes that I've written down. Um, One is episode 13. It's uh, the seven attributes of dynamic functional fitness. And it reminds me of my why. Like you you talk in there a little bit about um, like, you know, being able to carry a baby in one arm and a grocery bag in the other. And you name a bunch of other things that become possible when you put your health first and your fitness first. And then a couple other ones are episode 43. That's with uh, Dr. Francisco Contreras, where you're talking about cancer. And I was always taught, you know, like cancer is is just a thing that happens to us. Just accept it. Just accept that there's carcinogens everywhere. And um, it just was really empowering and encouraging to keep driving me forward with that why, uh, to hear that interview that you had with Dr. Contreras. And another one, last one, is episode 46, the first lady of fitness, Elaine Lelaine, um, just inspiring and motivating to hear her story and to keep me going with like, this is why I do this. And that's really why I listen to the Visibly Fit podcast. Mm, that's so cool. And yeah, to be her age and uh, that's and to still keep on going strong, like it's a lifestyle, right? Well, um, quickly, because I know you're just here for just a minute to celebrate with me and with all the listeners, of course. So thank you so much. But I wanted to let you know, I'm here at a health immersion where I've taught for over, you know, it's 10 years now. And I shared your story with a woman here that is struggling with endometriosis. And she now has hope, Tara. She was almost in tears and she is like, oh my goodness, okay, I'm going to really take this seriously because they're here just for a week, right? Like, so the Visibly Fit um, program is seven weeks, which is what you did. And yes. um, do you want to share just a, a quick snippet of your story, like in an elevator pitch kind of way, uh, yeah. since we have other people coming on, but um, just so people can hear um, what you went through and how how your life has been turned around. I'm so grateful. Yeah, absolutely. And that's so exciting that you're able to yeah. talk to someone with uh, endometriosis. Mm-hmm. That was my struggle for over 12 years. I struggled with pain. And typically with endometriosis, it takes seven years to get diagnosed. So that was my story. Seven years, didn't know 
why I was fainting, convulsing, and throwing up all the time. And when I uh, finally decided I'm not doing any more treatments after 25 treatments, going down the checklist, what they say you have to do, and being told I would be in bed for the rest of my life, I, I met you. And I, I was able to jump into Visibly Fit and become pain-free after one week of the Visibly Fit Accelerator program, the seven-week accelerator. Praise and God. my life has never been the same. I'm holding my 18-month-old in my lap right now. I'm, I'm doing walks. I'm doing a 5K. I'm connecting with people um, when I would be isolated before and just too embarrassed and low energy and in pain. And now I can just share God's love and share light and hope and encouragement. And that's beautiful um, to be able to do that. And you have the energy to do it. And you just have such a beautiful family and a beautiful heart. And I'm proud to uh, call you uh, and know you as a dear friend and sister in Christ, but also a visibly fit change agent. So you work alongside with me. And I'm just so um, grateful to see how um, you took the um, the tools and you had the discipline to take action. And that's really what it takes. So your life has changed. And so we're, we're praising God for that, but we're also, uh, you know, full of gratitude that you had the perseverance and the determination to see it through. So anyway, I love you. Thank you for j uh, jumping in on uh, this 100th episode and celebrating with me. And uh, we will catch you soon. But thanks so much, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. All right. Love you, hon. Take care. All right. So how fun is that? Yeah, I was able to share Tara's story with a gal that is here at this health immersion. They gave her hope. Like she had been, she just was diagnosed three years ago and still is not feeling any better. And so um, it's exciting. It's exciting what a, um, a, a just a, complete different lifestyle can do for you. And um, it's mind, body, spirit, emotions. It's all of it. All right. I'm going to bring in uh, Miss Carol. Miss Carol to the call. Hello, Carol. You're celebrating with me. <laughs> Happy 100 episodes. Hey, and you got the memo to wear purple. I, I didn't give you a memo, but good job, sister. <laughs> this is my favorite color. <laughs> me too. Me too. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to celebrate with us. This is great. So what? when do you listen to Visibly Fit? I listen early in the morning. I'm an early riser. So okay, I okay. Get up, yeah, I typically get up about four. And after I've done sort of my spiritual quiet time, I'm always looking for other content to inspire me. And I came across your podcast a few months ago and just fell in love with it because I can listen and it encourages me. And then I usually am at the gym from six to six thirty. Um every morning. Yeah. And so uh, it just kind of gets me going like, okay, I got to go work out because I don't always want to go. <laughs> I, right, right. You just got to think of your, your, your why and let that lead you every time, right? Absolutely. Well, I, I love that you listen and thank you for listening. I do not get up at 4 a.m., I must say. So way to go, <laughs> sister. That's not my gig, but um, <laughs> you go. Um, so yeah, super awesome. Do you have um, one or two that's maybe your favorite? Well, I actually have taken the time to kind of go back and listen to some of the older ones and mm, good. And I found them through the descriptions. So I think my favorite one was one of the first ones was episode 61 with Dr. Quayler. And it talked about eating more, eating well and moving more. And then I'm really a proponent of you have to take care of yourself or you can't take care of anyone else. And as a caregiver myself, I have found that I'm really inspired by people who encourage me to uh, stay on that track. So he talked a lot about intermittent fasting, which is so popular right now, and gave some really good tips on that. So that yeah. I think that one was probably my most favorite. But then you did something interesting in episode 76, which is the meditation. Yeah, you like that one? <laughs> I'm really big on solitude. I'm mm -hmm. really big on solitude and quieting your mind and just really meditating. And so I, I listened to that one and then went back and found uh, 66, which was your first one. So those were probably, that was another one 
that was really helpful. That's awesome. I'm actually glad that you brought that up. In fact, um, I'm at a health immersion right now, year 10 of doing these, and Dr. Evan is here with me. He's my buddy. So uh, we're both uh, doing some training and stuff. So anyway, I'll tell him that you said that his was uh, your favorite. Um, but yeah, the, the meditative part, the, the prayer meditative part is, is something that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, like, oh, that's my favorite one. But it's so important to have that rest and solitude and time with the Lord and really um, uh, just that meditative time to know who you are in Christ, right? So, I mean, yeah. you know, you know yeah. <laughs> you, you've got an incredible story. And those of you that um, have not listened to the uh, Your Biggest Breakthrough episode, I wouldn't even know what it is, uh, <laughs> but with, because <laughs> I need to go look, but with Carol um, Leatham, uh, let's see. Gosh, do you know the episode? I don't. <laughs> I don't either. Okay. Well, go check it out. This is a, this is a plug for your biggest breakthrough because Carol has an amazing story and she is an inspiration herself. So um, I love that you um, came on to celebrate with me. Thank you. Oh, I'm just yeah. so happy for you. And I've been telling all my friends to listen because I really do love podcasts. They're there when you listen or even sitting and watching. Yeah. Uh, they're just something that kind of gives me something to kind of focus on sometimes. So Yeah, no, it's so great. And there's so many podcasts to choose from, right? So thanks for choosing Visibly Fit. You're, You're awesome. Welcome. All right, sister, be blessed. Thanks okay. for being on. Okay, All take right. care. Bye-bye. Right, bye-bye. Oh, how fun. Gosh, you know, it, it, you never know when people are listening. I mean, you never know that, gosh, she gets up at 4 a.m. I mean, go Carol. <laughs> I do not. I get up usually around six. That's kind of my time. Maybe 5.30 if it's a good day, but six. And here is another Beth joining us today. Hi, Beth. Hello. Hi. Thanks for celebrating 100 episodes with us, with me, with us, all the listeners. This is fun. <laughs> yes, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So you have been listening for quite some time. When do you like to listen to the podcast? I like to listen when I am taking my morning walk. Ah, uh, with Nordy. Nordy's your with dog. Nordy. Yes. <laughs> That's great. I love it. And I know that you have um, several things that you listen to. So thank you for choosing Visibly Fit to listen to. Um, do you have one or two episodes that are your favorite? I do. I do. Um, I love it's episode 76, the I Am Meditation. Um, that I can listen to. It's something I go to when I need those positive affirmations, mm. um, you know, keeps me from my stinking thinking. As there you, you would go. Say. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I also loved the 146. It was um, Elaine, Lelaine. Yes. She's just so inspirational. And, and she's a hoot. And yes. And I just, I just hope I can, you know, live that life. <laughs> oh. Very and, and inspiring. Have, have just a little bit of her her joy and um, ability at her age. So right. Oh. Um, and then I also love the one. I, you, there's always new things you're bringing on, things that I haven't like heard about before. Um, and the one about tapping, um, ninety two. That's mm -hmm. another one that I um, I really enjoyed it and want to explore that a little more because it's something I had never heard about or knew about. So. Interesting. Well, out of all three of those that you mentioned, yep. the other um, uh, party goers here for the celebration, those three were mentioned. Oh, interesting. isn't that interesting? Yes. Very I mean, I, I should do a survey like to get a whole big uh, feel for what's what's the people's favorites. But that is fascinating. Yeah. Um, so good to know. Well, what do you um, do? You have your green drink with you. You always have your green drink with you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> she's always sipping on it it's right here it's actually not it's it's covered up but uh -huh. yeah it's in there yep you're so good about that and uh you you prep way ahead of time and you've encouraged so many people to to do that as well so thanks for uh you know continuing that model and being encouragement and and sharing uh what i taught because that people forget and then they see you and i'm like oh great do it <laughs> Beth's doing it yes do it <laughs> so um what would you say that you have gleaned most uh from i mean with the visibly fit program what what has impacted you the most um gosh it's hard. Uh, just that it needs to become part of my 
life and my lifestyle. Yes. And that God loves me no matter yes. what. Yes. Um, and that there are people he has put on this earth and surrounded me with to encourage me mm-hmm. um, to be my best self and my healthiest self. And so, um, you know, I just, even though I'm not perfect, which none of us are, are but no, nope. Jesus, <laughs> um, uh, it, it's just that I, I, need to just that I have that support and just need to continue to do what I know is right for my body. So good. So good. So having community is important and having encouragement and having uh, people speak life into your life is important. So I love that. Well, you are um, always on the calls, just about always. And so I appreciate you uh, being a part of our incredible tribe and you've gone through the program and had great results. And I'm just really proud of you because you do have the mindset of, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to get this done and I'm going to keep progress, 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 not perfection, but progress, progress. And so um, I know you inspire the other ladies as well, but thank you so much for taking the time and celebrating this 100th episode with me. This is super fun. Like I I was saying at the beginning of the episode, like cue the confetti, here's the horn, but I don't have any of that. I've got trees blowing in the wind. We'll take that. Um, But, but yeah, just having you on and, and a few of the others on just makes me so happy, warms my heart that y'all listen and that you really do take great information away that you can apply to your life to become better. And that's yeah. what Visibly Fit is all about. So, yeah. Absolutely. Congratulations to you. Thank that's you. a great accomplishment. <laughs> Thank you so much, girl. All right. You have an awesome week. Talk to you Thank soon. Thank you. Take okay. care. Bye. All right. Well, that is a wrap for the guest today. And um, I'm so grateful that they all wanted to jump on. And I was like, I'm just going to cap it at five. I probably should have opened it up more, but we would keep talking and talking and talking. And I don't know how uh, you feel about that. (laughs) Maybe you're like, okay, it's enough of this podcast. (laughs) But I am going to um, make sure that I I post those uh, favorite episodes in the show notes so you can go to them pretty quickly um, because I I heard several that were kind of the same. So maybe you'll find uh, those same episodes um, as, as invaluable as well. So I will post those along. And to celebrate this 100th episode, I do have a gift for you. I have a gift for you if you do these things. All right. So when I post on social media, um, I would have you uh, put the number 100 under the post and then direct message me and say, I'm in. And I'm going to put you into a... Um, uh, like a, a pool of people that I, and I, maybe I'll do it on, on air next week. And I will pull a winner from all the people that uh, respond to this episode. And maybe even if you don't have social media and you still want to be in the uh, winning to, to get a one hour free consulting with me, then, um, then go ahead and email me at wendy at wendypet.com. And that's, you know, W E N D I E at W-E-N-D-I-E-P-E-T-T dot com. I'm just saying that in case y'all don't know. Some people still sign, you know, write my name with a Y. It's not with a Y, it's I-E. Um, and I will also put that in the show notes, of course. But you can email me and um, we will, um, if you're listening to this live, I mean, and not like a year from now, um, we will go ahead and um, pull that winner on July the 3rd. No. No, take that back. Yep, July 3rd, (laughs) Monday, July 3rd, you will know who the winner is. And that'll be one hour of free um, coaching, um, consulting with me. So it's invaluable. It's, it's, um, you know, several, several hundred dollar value. So that is my gift to you. But make sure that you put your name in the hat to win because you deserve it. You deserve to be um, a part of this 100th episode celebration as well. If you are listening, enter, 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 enter. I'd love to have a conversation with you and you could be the winner. So, all right. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode with me. Um, I appreciate you all so much. And um, yeah, we'll catch you next week, but make it a visibly fit day. And make it a visibly fit day. Wow. Tongue twisted on that one. So much for a hundred. I've said it way too many times, huh? All right. God bless. Take care. 
Well, that's a wrap for today's show. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love spending this time with you. To learn more and get more free resources, just head on over to wendypet.com. And thank you in advance for sharing this episode and this podcast, following and subscribing, not only to this podcast, but finding me on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are, I'm probably there too. Until next week in our next podcast time together, make it a visibly fit day.